Well, the local authorities in Lorca, which was at the epicenter of this earthquake this evening, say that 10 people have been confirmed killed by, mostly by falling debris. You've seen those very dramatic pictures. That was the, the belfry, the, uh, the bell tower of the main church in Lorca, which came crashing down onto the ground uh, as a result of the, the second earthquake just before 7 o'clock this evening, and of course landed just a few meters away from the TV crew that was filming that live on air. Uh, so the kind of uh, damage you're seeing, uh, much, uh, an awful lot of debris, lots of bricks, lots of tiles falling, sp falling from buildings, uh, and that's uh, why so many people have been killed. It's actually the worst earthquake in Spain uh, with the most fatalities for more than five decades, more than 50 years. Uh, we know that uh, people have been gathering in uh, open spaces, in squares and on the streets. Uh, residents and people who were at work at the time have come outside, of course, very shocked, very shaken by what's happened. Uh, they've now been told by the local authorities to make their way to local shopping malls for safety uh, where they'll be uh, provided with uh, what help the local authorities can give them. The, the government here has ordered uh, a military unit down in Murcia in the southeast of Spain uh, to help out too. So uh, there have been two earthquakes, the largest, the second one just before 7 o'clock, measured 5.2 on the Richter scale, and that's why so many people uh, were hurt. It was fairly shallow, the earthquake, just 10 kilometers beneath the surface. And very scary, as you say, Sarah, for, for people in the vicinity, and um, very early days. Have you got any idea how many buildings have been destroyed, how many people are now without their homes? Well, we know that two buildings uh, have been extremely badly damaged. Those are the buildings which we believe uh, are around the area where the fatalities, or most of the fatalities, were caused. Uh, no buildings have collapsed completely, but uh, there are pictures of, of many, many houses and, and office blocks, and of course that church with enormous cracks in the sides, uh, both inside and outside the buildings, big piles of rubble in the street, lots of cars in the streets uh, that have been crushed by uh, the falling breeze blocks and, and the bricks. Uh, so uh, very serious scenes. Uh, we actually felt the, the, the quake here in Madrid itself. It was just before 7 o'clock. I felt it myself. I didn't know what it was at the time. It felt very unusual, but very strange. Uh, but it was, it was only later that we discovered there'd been an earthquake. 